Hello, this is Annie from The Makery, and this is my first online fiber arts tutorial. Welcome! Um, today, as you could tell by the title, this is mending clothes for kids and adults. So I have some holes in my jean jacket right here, and I'm going to show you a really simple way to stitch this up. Um, buying new clothes can get expensive, and you probably don't feel comfortable going to a store at this time and that's totally understandable so i'm here to help you save a little bit of money stay inside and look pretty stylish too so let's get into it so what you'll need is some scrap fabrics pins embroidery floss i have a whole thing here and embroidery needles. The first thing that you want to do is choose your fabric. This hole is on lightweight denim. Ideally, you want to find a fabric that is the same weight as the fabric that you're working with. And this will just add strength to it. Luckily, I had an old pair of corduroys. This piece is about the same weight as the jean jacket. But if I didn't have something of the same weight, that's okay too. So this is lightweight cotton from a dress, old dress. This is another piece of lightweight cotton. And what I would do if I didn't have anything heavy is I would just layer them together and I would make this my patch. So how you're gonna start is by turning your garment inside out. And you're going to layer your scrap fabric or scrap fabrics, if you have multiple in this case, right on top of that hole. Now what you're gonna do is just pin around the edges. If it's somewhere tight, like a sleeve, that's a little bit more challenging, make sure that you're not pinning the back part of the sleeve, just the top part to hold it into place. This is what it will look like. You don't have to put in a ton of pins, only a couple. And then I'm gonna turn my jacket back inside, right side out. Be careful not to poke yourself during this step. And now I have my fabric pinned into place. You can see the pins all along the edges. And now that isn't going anywhere. So before I actually get stitching, I'm just gonna make sure that I don't make any mistakes. First mistake you might make if you're working in such a tight area like this is you might accidentally stitch the back to the front and then that would be no good because then you can't get your hands through. So my good friend Fonzie, you can also use some cardboard. I just happen to have this laying around. Fonzie's gonna go right inside the sleeve. That way, instead of accidentally sewing the back, I'll hit the book instead. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace where I want my outline to go. Before I even attempt to stitch around these holes, I'm gonna make an outline and the outline will help to pin the back fabric down. Pencil is really easy to get off clothes, so I'm using a pencil. Just know that if you use something more permanent, like a marky, a Sharpie or a marker, um, it might stay there. So just be conscientious of that. Now, obviously my fabric is bigger than the square that I drew, and that's good. You can always trim off the edges of your fabric later on. For now, we just wanna get it down. I've also prepared my needle. One end, the shorter end, is unknotted, and the longer end has a knot at the end. You can use any color. You can also split the embroidery floss apart if you want your stitches to be thinner. And you can also double up your stitches if you want them to be thicker and tie your knot right here. When you stitch, you always stitch from the back up. Let me just slide my hand in there to start. And this is the last time I have to put my hand in here because it's much easier to, instead of pulling this stitch all the way down now, I'm just gonna come back up in the same stitch and pull that through. And now I have one stitch right there. So one more time, I'm gonna come down and slide my needle back up And depending on how easy this is for you, you can do more than one at once. So 
the next side down, come up, come down, come up, maybe one more time, come down, come up. It also makes your stitches straighter since the needle's straight. That way you know. Just gonna pull that tail through. Tail got a bit long, that happens sometimes. I'm just gonna keep going around this till I reach the other end. With time lapse time, three, two, one. My last and final stitch is gonna be bringing this needle into the back. I can take that needle out. There's enough slack for me. Let me turn this jacket inside out. Again, being really careful that you're not gonna poke yourself with those pins. I can take these pins out. I can tie off this. So since you can split embroidery floss in half, a great way to tie it off that's really simple is by splitting it in half and tying those two ends together in a double knot so that it doesn't come out. You can trim off those ends. And you can also trim off the extra fabric. Not too much, you don't wanna to get too close to those stitches, just in case if it frays, but about a centimeter out is good. Now you can turn your sleeve back inside out, or right side out, I should say. I'm gonna slide my book back in. Now here's where you can get a little bit creative. I can do running stitches going this way. I can have intersecting running stitches going this way. I can use different colors. I can make my running stitches going diagonally. I can outline the holes with running stitches. All of it is really up to you. But I think I'm just gonna do it really simple and straightforward. I have all these really gorgeous caramels. So I think what I wanna do is make some running stitches going across these holes and make it kind of a gradient. Like I said, you can get creative. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. It's all up to you. Ready to start. As always, I'm not gonna start from the front. I'm gonna come from the back up. Here's a textile fact. Textile waste occupies 5% of our landfill space. Even though the textile recycling programs recycle 3.8 billion pounds of textile waste each year, that only accounts for 15% of all textile waste. Did the math out on that, and that is 21.3 billion pounds of textile waste being thrown away each year. Moral of the story, mend your clothes, save the planet. That is all for this video this week. New videos every Friday for more textile content and fiber arts content. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your week.